We no free, hate, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no free, hate, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no free, hate, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so you know we have always um tell you guys to always look at your lcd and um yeah so we start off today's video uh we'll do it until you know we are um we reach you know um, we're just asking you guys before um you start listening the videos yes subscribe to the african jamaican channel that is our other um backup channel because at any time now you know youtube they can yank the channel because we can tell you that we have seen some things that is happening and we know that is a direct attack on the channel and as we have shown you before it's not only the jamaica young police channel that has been cut that uh, has been attacked by them because you know anything to do with the truth you have to understand so we live in a, a world where according to these people there's alternative facts and you know we're too old for all of these things so um let's go in the subscription um, the description box and select um, let's look for the link, um, African Jamaican, and you just select it. That is the Jamaica Young Police Channel, backup channel. So just in case anytime them yank it, when them yank it, you know, um, we have to use lawyers um, from the MetLife legal plan. Yeah, that's uh, something, you know, for people, um, federal employees are working on Kusam um, for challenge them and deal with the necessary, you know, to get back with channels. So, in the interim, we have a backup channel, the African Jamaican channel, you know, we post things there too, you understand, that are not, you know, uh, as the same as the Jamaica Young Police channel. So, please um, subscribe to the channel to show your support if you love the message that, and, you know, the work that we are doing over here. So, moving on. So, as we tell you before, I always look at your LCD. So you know we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we are all about the truth and for educate our audience and keep you abreast about what's going on in the in the world. As you know that um yes, um some of our audience members um they have sent some voice notes and we're gonna to listen listen to the voice note and we'll address them accordingly. And you know as some of our subscribers they said that Jamaica Young Police Channel st stands alone. Because we were the only one, yes, Jamaica Young is the only one that I've been telling the people for years that the PMP is a criminal organization. And you know, because of that, um, we have got a lot of hate and a lot of people, you know, unsubscribe, they don't like for you the truth, but we never change the message because we're born and raised from the, be we are from the belly of the beast. So we can't change who we are. <laughs> you understand? Just like how we tell you, safe. If fish come from the bottom of the river and tell us a shot down, you believe fish. We are from the belly of the beast, so we are telling us a PMP a criminal organization. And people want to forget into them feelings and unsubscribe. So we are not like the other other YouTubers that tell people things because they want views to make money. We don't know that. Um, some people that say, boy, you work even overtime, all your function, and you had so many things. And some people that say, boy, we see that you have work and you try to save Jamaica. Yes, that's all we want. And we have to save it from these people. Who know who are the problem in Jamaica when I pretend. Yes, yeah, so, you know, we, we, um, 
Yeah, so you know, so apart from these voice notes, um, you know, um, you're gonna see like some message that people post, you know, that's after um, the PMP criminal organization conference, and then now you see so many things that happening in Jamaica as a form of they are a form of destruction. Remember, you know, we're telling you the greatest enemy to the Jamaican people are the PMP criminal organization. Don't listen to what people are telling you. They are epitome of evil. They have committed one of the greatest crimes against Jamaica, right? No money laundering in America. People are that's oh, sir reporter, you're the one for report it. I am not the government, I the Jamaican government is supposed to report it to the American government. So this is one of the comments um, from this is a PMP criminal organization supporter, you know. But they are being truthful himself. The person said, Sir Reporter, up until Saturday, I hate it when you use the term the PMP is a criminal organization. Well, Sunday, them throw it in my face at them conference. They approve the cartoon, him liar, and the biggest joke of all, LA foolish, that are LA Lewis to share the platform. When I thought Jamaica couldn't get worse, note, I have stopped being a supporter of that party over 20 years now, and definitely don't want to see them in power, but I have seen criminal activities also from the other side. Yeah, and look here, we're not going to deny that my brother or my sister, I did, um, the person near me, or who can say whether it's a female or it's a male, but we, we just address the person. We're not going to deny that um, both sides, them not have criminal, of course, the GLP have them gunmen too and them things, but the thing is that with the labor right, they are not as brutal as the PMP, kill Pitney and cut off head and all kind of thing. The PMP, the culture of criminality, is a birth, a PMP birth. It, it was born in my community where I was born and raised. Borough Boy and Fedam, Michael Manley normalized criminality in Jamaica. Now, Michael Manley sent 2,000, over 2,500 young men to Cuba to train in a Brigadista program. The number one Brigadista, number one Brigadista, yeah, the marksman, sharpshooter, all kind of thing, and I can name it. It's my cousin, number one out of 2,500. Second, General Starkey. Yeah, so my cousin even superior in everything, weapons and everything. He speaks three languages, Russian, Spanish and English. He's alive. I don't call him name, he know himself. You understand? I know that sometimes he must be sorry of the part that he has taken with his life. But we choose a different life because we could have differentiate between wrong and right. This was a, this is an, was an, this is an educated man who chose to destroy him life because of the PMP. So we're going to let you listen now to the voice note um, that these viewers and subscribers sent to us. And then after you listen to them, yeah, we're not going to interrupt them. We're going to just play them. After you listen to them, then we're going to give you our take on it to, you know, uh, reinforce that the PMP is a criminal organization. And what you're seeing happening right now, Russ is late yet to come, you know. We have told you from we have told you guys you know, from last year. Yeah, we're not afraid because when we, over here I told people before if I was doing this thing for views, I know to I know the things I'm to post because I'm from a PMP community. And I know that it's good whole heap of views. You understand what I'm saying? All you have to do is lie to the people and you massage them, you get them feel good. Don't tell them they're uncomfortable truth. And that's the re that's what we do over here. We tell them they and come, we tell them the truth, and that's why people flee from we. So that's why our channel is not an entertainment channel. You have other smart people who's on YouTube, but they're not on YouTube for the betterment of Jamaica. They're on YouTube for themselves. What's in it for me? Yeah, them as we tell you all the time, and we say it again, and we say it already. It's the educated people them in Jamaica who are the problem. Not the little man with a fire gun, and no one has seen it for themselves because you saw it. Um, it's going. Uh, almost a week now where the PMP showcase and parade them criminal, them convicted murder, convicted killer who you know commit um, use social media when they are committing crime and then yeah, the convicted twice convicted drug dealer who one step closer now to become a, a judge and in, in which he has been tapped now to become a member of parliament so what is to stop him? Jamaica if you have a criminal, a convicted criminal as the prime minister of Jamaica so, we're, we're going to address that later on too. So, you watch, you listen, and you decide. Jamaica Young Police, I just want to reach out to you on a level where you notice a cartel, Bojo, 
and Isaac Buchanan all big in the PNP and them all spend years in a prison. Now I realize when the others say the PNP is a criminal organization. Why I just speak on that a little bit? Sir Chris, morning. Long time I not talk to you about why the PNP they might make. I don't know if, 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 if it's make them make you look like a genius. I don't mind turning you into a genius. What the PNP them do this today? Every day you've been telling uh, people say boy them is a criminal organization and people are come and want to kill you. You see the lawyer have your proof and I see one more one more stark reminder yeah, right in front of any people and face. The vibes cartel. Can you imagine Chris? Spoil the whole Sunday evening. You can have a man like that on your platform with your ministers and them people man. Chris, but me, me I listen for you, you because you must you have to analyze the thing pro, more proper than me. And maybe some good people because but most of the PNP them love the popularity, you know. And I see it. Same thing with Bujubantan and same thing with you can imagine all the, the, the people in America must be looking at them like, eh? Them past criminal organization, it's like I'm, but I don't know, I, I can't categorize it. You go and work up, go and find the words, them feet. Mr. Porter, good morning. It has been a while now since I haven't um, messaged you on this platform. Those still listen to the, um, the vlogs you post. Look here, Sunday has proven what you have been saying all along to be so 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 right well i definitely know that it will only take some some of the jamaicans who are thinking jamaicans to realize that you were right all along remember you re you you refer to the um to the opposition party the pnp in jamaica as an um alphabet criminal organization and you have been proven right by what we saw on display on Sunday. Not only Jamaica, but to the world. And so, in a situation like this, sir, if this is what this party is presented to the country, then you imagine the kind of country that we'll be having if they should be elected the next administration. I'm just here to say, to encourage you to keep up the good work and to continue being the brave and the lonely voice you know speaking out against what we're seeing in jamaica and yet a lot of the people still want to hold on to this shows you their mindsets anyway sir before i keep rambling on be blessed have yourself a great day you and your family yeah, so you know some of the viewers and subscribers they have you know evoke um term in ter you know words that um saying that we are a prophet sir porter we are not sir porter is not a prophet and as some people say yes um sir porter stands alone and was right all along when he said that the pmp is a criminal organization as i said before and i'll continue to say again i was born and raised in the belly of the beast so is what i've seen observed um, throughout my life, that's that's why I tell you um, all the, all the things that I have observed throughout my life, and I tell you that the PMP is a criminal organization. All they do is breed criminals, and that's it. They don't know how to grow jobs. They don't know how to grow an economy, and how to create jobs, and how to create decent and ethical Jamaicans. So there's an old adage that says, "Don't listen to the noise in the ma market. Watch the results." As you know, Jamaica Young Police Channel stands alone. Um, we don't follow people, we don't envy anyone, we know that you have some people who have influence, as we said before, you know, um, they try they try to buy us, the PMP criminal organization trying to buy us so that we would lay off them and stop educating the people because they had seen us as a threat, as years um, earlier, um, you know, we have done a video in which they are threatening us our life again, yes because of um, Baby Trump, because we expose him as not only as a fraud, but as a con artist. And he wants black people to kill each other for him. 
and you see it happened last year September and they ramp up their recruitments with enticement of money and all kind of things. That's why you have people like Ugly Summer, as you heard um, Herb Nelson says about what they have been doing in, the, in North America and other parts of the world to create um, confusion with the Jamaican people because they want to topple the government because they want to rule, they want to get a hold of the economy so they can pillage and rob and steal. So now that they are so desperate because they realize that they are not gaining any, um, getting any traction. So that's why they did everything to get Vibes Cartel um, out of prison. So they feel that they, he could galvanize the Jamaican populace to come out and vote for the PMP criminal organization to make them become the government. And you know the only thing that they can do is just destroy the economy and rob, rape and pillage. Not only that, Baby Trump hasn't, to this date, he still hasn't uh, renounced his British citizenship. And you know that the Gleaner, the Glee, uh, trust, I've said to you guys before, the Jamaican Gleaner is one of your biggest enemies in Jamaica. When you're talking about news and correct information, you'd have to go to Nationwide. The others, they can't be bought. They can't buy a nation, not that they, they can't buy Nationwide because Cliff Hughes, as a man who's from the ghetto, Although he's a PMP, um, he's from a PMP criminal organization community as yours truly. I used to go to school down at Chateau Park. That's just below where yours truly is from. Um, but he has been come to his senses and realized that Cliff Hughes used to be a criminal supporter, you know, a supporter and enabler. Until he realized that it's very, it's destroying the fabric of the Jamaican society. So now that he started to eat out against it and realize that the same party that he has been supporting for decades, all of his life, because he's, he's a Michael Manley Heights, you know. Yes, he realized that that everything that he has been doing is destroying the people, so he wants to change the culture by letting them know the truth. And because of that now, he has uh, immense threat, death threat from the PMP criminal organization and their supporters and activists. Even at one point, they use intimidate, intimidatory tactics by shooting up his went there and fire shots and shoot up um, a car and shoot up his studio. And that was rhetoric that came from Baby Trump and Dayton Campbell, the pedophile, the, the, ped the, the guy that them say, uh, what them say? Him love combat. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you, Jamaica can be even easy, you know, believe you me. So, I'm moving on. So, as I say, you know, there's an old adage that says, don't listen to the noise in the market, watch the results. So this wisdom is particularly relevant Today, as Jamaica grapple with a cultural shift, where criminality has seeped into the very fabric of society amidst a clamor, a clamor and confusion. One voice that stands resolute in the fight to reclaim the nation's mind, art and soul from the grips of toxic culture, that voice, that voice belongs to the Jamaica Young Police Channel, led by Sir Porter, a figure who has stayed it upon himself to be the beacon of change in an era of moral decay. And we have been saying that for a long time. Alright, if you remember last year, Labor Day, you can go on the channel. Last year, Labor Day, when Mark Golden had marched with a known killer, Danville Palmer. You remember, you know, Danville Palmer, who is the stepson of George Pong. George Pong, you know, George Pong is the old murderer around them thing. They might just say a piece, you know. George Wong is the same man that Mark Golden nominated for a national award and being a man and born to kill her. Trick them trick, uh, <laughs> you know, um, the Prime Minister. And I told them you know, that they were going to regret it. And the Prime Minister accepted born to kill her. They accepted born to kill her and being a man. Then him having at the National Stadium and Independence Day, hugging up, hugging up being a man. Not know that it was, he was just setting the, the stage for her bigger things to come. And they say, wait, oh, um, being a man only accused of killing Bogle, he never convicted. And Vibes Cartel was convicted for killing Lizard, but the court free him, so he's a free man. So they put, him on the, they put him up on the platform. So we tell you, say, Prime Minister, he may contribute to the problem. Oh, we are going to fix Jamaica. We know what I said before and I'll say it again. One political party will burn out Jamaica and all of white ashes. It's not a policy, it's a criminal organization, the PMP. So what the Jamaican people 
decent ethical law abiding Jamaican and Jamaican we can't run go anywhere. You have to save Jamaica this time like how the decent Jamaican saved Jamaica in the nineteen eighty. Because they have come out now full fledged, they're not hiding in anymore. Shape they're not they, because they have they have no shame. The PMP is a criminal organization, you know. So they have to just be themselves. So they come out now and I show you who they are. Believe them. Is this the kind of society you want to live in? Where criminals are lauded with fear? Now you see Isaac Buchanan has been tapped to go to East Portland. Where in the world you have a convicted criminal. So we have Angela Brownberg. Her father was a known murderer. Most wanted man back in 1980. And for her reward for her father's crime is a seat in the House of Parliament. Now Isaac Buchanan is tapped now to represent the PMP in the next general election in East Portland. The Prime Minister now must have to step up to make sure he's changed the laws. I told him before, you know, but they're not listening. I told him before that what they need to do was to change the law so that to prevent people who have conviction, convicted, who have criminal records, you don't clean them and you don't allow them to become members of the legal fraternity. Because Isaac Buchanan, by law, he can become a judge because he's a practicing lawyer, he's an officer of the court. How do you think those, um, the judge, are the judges feel? If you know that this man is a convicted criminal and talking and even arguing with the judges in court, that show you that the system is failing the people. And this is what you're, you know, you're, the message that you're sending to the youth of Jamaica, that yeah, being a convicted drug dealer, this is what happened, being a killer like Vibes Cartel, yeah, you'll be put on a pedestal and you'll be to address a platform and you say address the Jamaican people for show them, say, oh, this is how we want you ride with PMP, because a PMP may I ride and I may a murderer. Me kill how much people, everybody knows I may a killer. And this is it. So they're a normalized killing. Remember, you know, and a bird them are killing are human beings. Human as yourself. So if you want that, if you love the killing, we know say PMP is a criminal organization. We know say the corals and the coral bunkers and the dirty bungle them. They might come out and let them numbers come forward because a PMP cause them is all about the one day the five grand fee. Um buy a spliff, guineas, and buy a box suit and smoke and that's it. And then for recite the and them beg and turn parasite to others in the community. And rob and kill people. Yeah, so it's the decent people them the one them will work and pay taxes. You are the ones who have to save Jamaica. That anyhow, this that's why it is where it's at right now, you know. The same thing the people in the, um, the politicians in the AT did, you know. Align themselves with criminals, so they would overthrow um Bertram Aristide. And that's where AT is at right now. Anyhow the PMP. Get a whole of Jamaica. Trust me, you know, people, whether or not you want to believe it, you know, the next election is going to be bloody. And it's a PMP who is behind it, the PMP criminal organization, Gummy Beer. And the only thing that we can do from where we're at is to do some things to make sure that some people who are in America, them deport them and all these things, send them back to Jamaica before, so that them see him rival with them rival with can take them out down there for you understand to reduce the casualty numbers in Jamaica kite is going to be bloody. Just listen to me I tell you. Yes, and the reason why because them the PM, the Jamaica Labour Party government they never they weren't listening. They don't listen to me. Cause them say, oh me not like the Prime Minister, I just start the truth because I'm weak. I mean I'm weak. Yeah, him the settings for optics. When we understand say, the PMP criminal organization and the optics action. Remember the man say, you know, say, oh you think they liberate them are gay too? We have to take it. We have to put it, we have to take it, put it to them and take this from them. So remember say I have nothing for losing them. I know Jamaica did that. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. So moving on. So much like the legendary um, sound system Stone Love, which has remained a symbol of consistency and excellence in Jamaican music, Jamaican music for a decade, 
Sir Porter stands alone in his relentless mission. The comparison is apt stone as a, as whether the changes and challenges of the music industry staying true to its roots while evolving to meet demands of the time. Similarly, Sir Porter has remained steadfast in his commitment to exposing the criminal underbelly of the Jamaican society, refusing to be swayed by the noise and the and noise of detractors or the overwhelming normalization of crime and antisocial behavior that plagues the island. So what made the Jamaica Young Police Channel so crucial is its unapologetic stance against the glorification of criminals and antisocial behavior that have unfortunately become commonplace. So when some people say, oh, yeah, you know, I follow him, I follow this and that. We don't follow people, period. You understand? People also, we not also, we are patriot. Patriot to the point out, but you have to, and we're not a cult either. So that's why people, people know, you know, them know, because we tell them people you truth. People, them know for manipulate others, forget things the way they want. Got them in this reviews. We in a for that. We in a this change my hearts and mind. Change our the community where we are from. We don't want a two two of us left from my age group. Two. Everybody. On go one person sick and dead and Askelly and everybody else um died from gunshot. Two. Chris Porter and Orius Dina Brown. Orius Dina Brown used to play for Arnett Garden. Yeah man. So on go two we left. Everybody else, Mapen, Dovecat, or there are some foreign cemetery. I just saw it. That's why I call the IPMP criminal organization. That's why I would tell you we want to change the mindset of the people. Then. So in a society where many have grown desensitized to violence and corruption, Chris Porter offers a much needed counter narrative. One that seeks to awaken the moral conscience of Jamaicans. There's no other guy on YouTube. I wanna follow people. As, as we tell you, we are not dopey, we are not ghosts, we are not afraid of no guy. We are not, we are not hide our voice, we are not hide nothing about we. I just we this. When we say that people feel offended, as if, we, no, we just tell you that. We are not hide, we are not hide behind mic, we have all pitch up on YouTube, we do us, we do all even video, and all of them things. We are not afraid of people, period. We are just say it, but we have a record of them things. We know say we know so we're not gonna be here for every day. So you understand what we are trying to do. We don't have to try we not try to be no hidden hero. We don't try to be no hero, we're a patriot. If you're a patriot and them thing, you fight for Jamaica, you know, fight for yourself, what's in it for me? And that's how some people do. They don't care about Jamaica. You understand what I'm saying? We say some YouTuber them I said boy the PMP criminal organization conference turn up. That for sure the mindset of these people because of them party. The PMP know that, you know, that's why they come out with Vibes Cartel because they know say, their supporters is a cult, you know. People in a cult can't understand, they can't think. And just like how you have some people on YouTube who are in a cult, yeah, and you speak the truth and you tell them, say, hey, look, black are black and, green, and black are black, green are green, red are red. They say, oh, no, man, but you don't like him and them things. Eh? So you say something about, some, say something, you know. And it feel, them feel offended and them not have nothing to do with it. They like the message, but just because I say something and it hurt them feelings, because they want you to tell them lies. And we never do that. We are the most honest YouTuber on YouTube. Period. Why do you think the PMP criminal organization, them not like we? Because we are the only one to tell the people the truth and come we're afraid of people. We were raised that way. With a leader, we don't follow people. Ask any police where you used to work with. So when some little dummy come over here and I type, well, boy, you follow this, we don't follow people. This are we, original. We don't know other people and them things. So we don't just speculate. This is we. You understand? So as you know, Sir Porter's goal is not just to inform, but to inspire a collective rejection of the criminal mindset that has taken root, especially among the younger generation. Sir Porter's battle is a solitary one in many ways. He's up against a well-trenched culture that romanticizes crime 
whether through music, media, or even political alliances. Yet, like Stone of his strength lies in consistency, clarity of message, and deep-rooted love for his country. I understand that this fight is not just about policing streets, but about policing minds, about instilling values of decency, integrity, and respect for life in a society that has grown numb to violence. As we tell you already, you know, and we'll see it. When it comes to a positive thing, people don't gravitate to it. Marcus Gabe, the greatest black man walk on earth since Jesus Christ. And black people don't gravitate to Marcus Gabe. They don't gravitate to when you say something about Vibes Cartel. If you post something about Marcus Gabe, positive, that not, hey, that not even my child, that thousand or two thousand. That not, because that is not entertainment. That's the thing with black people. So you why you think the PMP criminal organization come out and parade all of them criminals? Because they know say entertainment them people love. They know say the people them fit in of them part, people who support them, them now lose not one. Because all of them, every single one of them who support and are activists, a PMP criminal organization, is a cult. Them no say Jamaica, them say PMP. It was red back then, now it's orange. So in a time when many are content with turning a blind eye or even partaking in the criminal culture, so reporters' dedication to truth and justice is both rare and admirable. No other YouTuber, no other guy can come near or even clean the dirt off our shoes. I will tell them long time, you know, and I look a guy them out there where I fire a gun or a problem. I people them where I have degree. But I'm afraid to go after them. You have people out there who have bigger voice than yours, yours truly. But they don't want for rougher feathers, feathers. Got them afraid. Men babies. So them hide. Keyboard warriors. We are not a keyboard, we are a warrior from birth. Born and grown I belly I beast. See it. Know it. Even before when we got a training school, we wish we had gone hide in our community. And when people hear say we are police boy, man, start move them thing. But we never did inform on them thing. Because we know say the gun them that were there. It wasn't for commit crime, it was to protect you know, the community and the people, them family. Because these are men that in you know, a good work on them thing. But them can't get a license gun. And most of them migrate you now on them thing. You know. They want to know gun. Well, by law, they are gunmen. But in reality, we see them as somebody from a ghetto. They want to know criminal because they never. Walk around and commit no crime. They must have the gun them in the community. And the same gun them one time, see if you yeah, want prevent a, a, a showdown between yours truly and Ratcliffe who when he wanted. Yeah, man, on um, the corner of Penn Street and Price Street. Yeah, and him down uh, Penster Street and Price Street. And they have to turn back because man, you know, man, them raise them gun and them thing and tell them, say, hey, Chris up the saying, and if you pass your say, you, know, you don't know him and him two boy them. And them know say the man in a play. So him just turn back. So and I have peep in a getaway of gun. A gun man. Some of them have it because they can't get license gun. And these other you know, people in you know, a gang, they must have them gun. And the same gun man them with that one to take away them gun, but guess what? You have like uh, eight or nine of them around. So if you try to take one, the others they might take you and kill you. And about a few say you can't go into them people the yard and bat them up and get them gun and them thing there. You understand? Yeah. So we're moving on. So the Jamaica Young Police Channel isn't just another platform, it's a movement. A stand against the normalization of criminal behavior and a call to action for all Jamaicans to reclaim their country from the clutches of lawlessness. So just as Stone Love remain a symbol of excellence in music. So a reporter stands as a symbol of open resistance. A reminder that while the noise may be loud, it is the result that truly matters. And the result of his work will be, a, will be Jamaica where criminality is not celebrated but eradicated where the hearts and minds of the people are once again aligned with values that promote peace, respect and the rule of law. Yeah, so the reason why others not do it and them thing, you know, them don't want to offend nobody because it's all about what's in it for me. Yeah, so them don't care about the Jamaican people. All them care about is what's in it for me. 
So sir put so we answer them, you know, so sir put it through the Jamaica Young Police Channel stand alone and w and wavering voice of reason and reason and truth in a society overwhelmed by a persuasive criminal culture. While many turn a blind eye to the alarming growth of lawlessness, Sir Porter continues to educate people about the true nature of the People's National Party and organization. He boldly labor the PMP criminal organization with an uncompromising focus on revealing the party's deep-rooted ties to criminals, drug dealers and murderers, extortionists. Sir Porter is determined to make Jamaicans aware of the bedbugs that infest the very fabric of society. So the recent 86 PMP criminal organization conference which could fittingly, fittingly be dubbed the world's first criminals conference is a glaring example of how deeply entrenched criminality has become within the PMP criminal organization. Yeah. During the event, the PMP criminal organization leader, yes, that's Baby Trump, parade figures like Isaac Buchanan convicting convicted drug dealer and vibes cartel and notorious killer responsible for the death of over 100 Jamaicans a symbol of their party and the face of the party criminals not to be left out Buju Bantan, Yaman, Mark Myrie and other convicted drug, drug dealer yes was also put forward as the face of this organization last year. So the message this sent to the youth of Jamaica is deeply troubling. It normalizes and even glamorizes criminal behavior, making it seem as though criminals are not only accepted but celebrated within the PMP criminal organization ranks. So when I've been telling the people that the PMP is a criminal organization and them say you're yes, truly earlier about hey, I just saw it go. We now stop to the truth. We still have fight back for Jamaica. So what the PMP is doing is not just shameless, but a calculated, desperate attempt to cling to power their yeah, man by using the same playbook that former leader Michael Manley employed in 1976. Manley, during his campaign, was notorious for aligning himself with known killers like Fedamap and Borrow Boy from Jonestown, Kingston 12. That's where I was born and raised. Who became the faces of the PMP criminal organization on the belly? Manly's tactics of desensitizing the public to criminality were not just effective, they were devastating. His win in that election marked the beginning of a wave of violence, most notably genocide committed by PMP criminal organization aligned terrorists at the high rise building in Payne Avenue, Kingston 11, where over 72 Jamaicans were brutally murdered. Most of you don't even know that because you're not from Kingston or most of your parents or grandparents never used to read so they don't buy a gleaner so they don't, and they don't listen to radio because most of them never did have radio, transistor radio. So we are telling you that. Ask anyone, the people that live at Payne Avenue or the high rise building None of them are the lawful owners of these buildings. The owners of these buildings were murdered and their offspring were robbed of their wealth. Uh, you understand? So the government supposed to do something to find the survivors. People were related to the owners of these buildings. They said over 72 people were murdered there. Yeah man, I have people, fat people in my family were left from Jonestown with Burbo and them and then go there and kill people. When I stay in the unspeed, I talk with them and them things about I tell nobody say boy we're related to them. We don't say our family and we just shun them because you yeah, understand what I'm saying. Yeah. So today Sir Porter draws a direct line from the tactics of Michael Manley to the present day PMP leadership. Highlighting how this once political party has transformed into a criminal organization that breed killers, drug dealers and other so societal scrooges. So by showing these individuals that the PMP criminal organization sends a singular message to the youth of Jamaica, 
criminality is not just something to be shunned, but something to aspire to. In glorifying the likes of Cartel, Bojo Bantan, Isaac Buchanan, and the likes, they are attempting to normalize violence and drug trafficking, pushing the country further into moral, into a moral abyss. So them people in love Jamaica, tell us all the while, say PMP in love Jamaica, them all love power. So at this hour, them are doing rally the depraved and the lazy and the criminal minded people them for come out with vote for them become government so them can pillage and then you have men now and then put people with upon the JUTC um, payroll will never work a man just go and call it them check because they're a killer this government ain't that they have to work in which is rightfully so you understand so so reporters work on the Jamaica Young Police Channel stand as a vital antidote to this poison. You understand that the future of Jamaica inches on breaking the cycle of crime, violence and corruption that have been woven into the nation's politics. His dedication to exposing the truth about the PMP criminal organization and its criminal affiliations is courageous and necessary hack of defiance in a culture that becoming increasingly indifferent to the consequences of criminality. And like many who are content with the status quo. So a reporter refuses to allow the people of Jamaica to be lulled into complacency by the PMP criminal organization tactics of normalization of criminality. So a reporter continually reminds his audience that embracing criminals as leaders will only lead to more destruction and chaos. By educating the public, especially the youth, so reporter strives to shift the narrative away from glorifying criminals to one that rejecting violence, corruption and the devastation that accompanies it. So in face of the widespread apathy and normalization of crime, so reporter voice remain clear and resolute. In this day and age, so reporter stands alone in his mission to restore morals, clarity and order, tirelessly working to restore Jamaica to its glory days, to recognize the true nature that the PMP criminal organization and its harmful influence on the country. It is through this kind of fearless truth-telling that Jamaica can hope to reclaim its future. A future not defined by criminals, but the value of justice, integrity and peace. As Jamaicans, we must reject the PMP criminal organization, send them resounding at the ballot box. PMP GLP voters and those who don't vote, those the 70% of Jamaicans who do not vote, you have to come out and vote the next election because anyhow, you people, you're going to see the election going to be bloody. Some of you might lose relatives, some of you might even lose your life. That's this thing right now. Because that is what the PMP criminal organization is all about. Yes, they are all about criminality. Yes, man, they don't care about the Jamaican people. Never have. I never will. That's how these people operate. They don't care. They never love Jamaica. One iota. These people are, you know, they are epitome of evil. That's how these people thrive. They thrive at the lives of black people and destroying them and lives. So reporter through the Jamaica Young Police Channel stands alone as a beacon of truth and courage in a society where criminality has been shamelessly embraced and normalized by the PMP criminal organization. So some people, that's a boy, their, their floor, their floor that they walk on is some people's ceiling. And we would say the same thing, that our floor that we walk on is their ceiling. Because they are cowards. They don't love Jamaica. They only love what's in it for me, how they can make money. Years to come, decades. People would always remember the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Now we're going to put out a book. 
the blueprint out to save black people from killing each other and denounce, renounce criminality. We see the PMP criminal organization shamelessly embraced and normalized by the, P by the PMP criminal organization, criminality, murderers, drug dealers, extortionists. Chris Porter and Wavering commitment to educating the Jamaican people about the dangerous glorification of criminals, drug dealers and murderers shines a light on the corrupt forces at play by revealing the PMPs all tactics of aligning wit and empowering violent elements within society. So reporter is not only fighting for justice, but for the very soul of a nation. His work is critical in reversing the cultural acceptance of criminality and inspiring a new generation to reject the path of violence and corruption. So reporter's mission is clear, to break the cycle of destruction and create a Jamaica where integrity, law and morality prevail. In standing alone, he stands strong and his effort will leave a lasting impact on the future of Jamaica, reshaping it into a nation where criminals are no longer idolized but instead held accountable for their actions, rejects, denounce and treat as pyre as they should be. All we want back to Jamaica, we want back to the country, I want it back from these people and we know who are the threat imminent threat to Jamaica's existence and the future. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel out.